this lesson, we're going to uh, control a Arduino project with the help of a infrared remote control, just like any standard TV remote, and an infrared sensor that can detect the, the signals that come out of the remote control. So let's get started. Okay, so we're just going to need a couple things for this project. Some jumpers, an LED, and an infrared sensor. This is uh, Adafruit part number 157, um, and it's fairly typical. So let's just plug it in. And as I mentioned, we have an LED. We're going to turn on the LED. Um, using our remote control. Okay, oh, that's another thing we need. A standard remote control. It doesn't have to be, I mean, as long as it's not too obscure, it'll work. All right, now for the jumpers. As I mentioned, the first lead goes to data, and that's going to be um, pin 11. The middle is ground. And the right one is 5 volts. All right, now we'll, uh, we'll program it. OK, the first step to programming your infrared sensor is to get a library. Not surprisingly, it seems like every time there's a, a really cool sensor or add-on, it has its own library. Um, so uh, um, the one to get is here. It's uh, github.com slash sheriff eights S-H-I-R-R-I-F-F -F slash Arduino dash IR remote. And you need to download it and install it um, just like uh, you've been doing with the other ones. Okay, for the sketch, uh, I'm actually not using something from the IR remote library. Um, I am, in fact, going to use... Um, I'm going to use a sketch that I created for Arduino for Beginners, my book, um, that that controls a uh, relay, so it can turn on and off a lava lamp, uh, and it 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 uses a real time clock module, so it can um, keep track of time and turn it on and off at a specified um, schedule. But you can also use infrared remote control to turn it on and off. So I figured um, instead of uh, reinventing the wheel that I would just use that sketch to power our current project. The only difference is there's no uh, clock module added on, so some of the, some of the, um, the code is not necessary. But it still works, I'm pretty sure. So let's, uh, let's go through it really fast. Well, um, as we know, the, uh, the sensor plugs into pin 11 and the LED um, plugs into pin 13. It's called a relay pin here, but the name of the variable doesn't really matter all that much. It might have triggered a relay um, at one point, but now it's going to just turn on an LED. Um, here's a, a, a relating to the clock module. RTC stands for real-time clock. Um, uh, this, this is part of the infrared library that we just downloaded and um, and it is letting it know that um, it will be listening for infrared on pin 11. This is a function right here that um, uh, uh, that um, parses information that it's getting from the infrared signal. It's just a little little doohickey that keeps the sketch running. Um, let's see. Oh, that's um, that's uh, printing off the um, the uh, results of the. Uh, the, the infrared transmission, you know, like the code received. All right, now here's setup. Um, 
it's it's specifying output for the relay pin and the receiving pin. It's it's uh, it's telling it to um, start the receiver. And then the loop itself, it's it's uh, it's um, listening for the. Uh, it's not only listening for infrared signals, but it's also keeping an eye on the time. And once it reaches the start time, it will turn on the relay pin or the LED in this case. Um, however, it's not going to be getting any signals from any real time clock module, so it'll just look at the um, for the infrared signal. And then. If it's been 200 less than, no, greater than 250 uh, milliseconds since the last time the um, the uh, LED was triggered, then it won't trigger again. It's it's basically here just to um, just so uh, it it doesn't just flicker when you press it. Lastly, let's check out the loop. Um, it is it checks the the time right here. Um, again, if it actually had a real time clock module, it'll do this. But this is what the code is telling it to do. It gets the um, the uh, the time right here. I mean, it 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 um, it formats the time. The the hour times a hundred plus the current minutes. So if it's three o'clock. And 315, then the current hour 3 is multiplied by 100 and then added to the current minutes, so the result would be 315. Not that that relates at all to the infrared. Um, and then uh, it, it checks to see whether it is the scheduled start time or end time for the, uh, the, um, for the uh, relay to be triggered. And if not, then um, it, it looks for this thing right here, looks for any result from the uh, infrared sensor. Uh, and um, basically, you could specify a specific code, like the Sony's VCR power on code is something different than, you know, another... Uh, manufacturers fast forward code but you could take those codes and, and make use of them to have a number of different actions that take place depending on what button that gets pushed but in this case we don't care it just says any result uh, will turn on the uh, the relay pin or the LED in our case so when I uploaded it um, some errors resulted mm -hmm. and I realized it was because I have this library, um, RTC library, the real-time clock module library, um, as part of the code, and I didn't ask you to download it. Um, and I didn't have it on this account, on this computer, so of course, you know, it aired out. So my thought was, rather than to run you out to get you to download the library, that um, instead we'll just comment it out. That means um, putting two slashes in front of it, so it um, the the Arduino ignores it. It's just treated as a comment. So um, run through and um, and note the following. Uh, basically, anything relating to the, the RTC. I, um, I suppose we can do this one too. Um, anything related to the the RTC. I commented so um, basically this all this part right here where it um, it figures out the time and then serial prints to the serial monitor the time um, so I uploaded it and it worked so let's check it out and I'll have this code um, you can find it on nerdage.net and it will um, you can download it so if this is a little confusing um, you'll be able to just download this and know it works. Okay, it's programmed. Let's test it out. There you go. See, it's it's latching, right? So it it um, turns on until I press the remote again.
there you go and you can do lots of different things you can um, pull out specified codes um, uh, in your Arduino sketch and um, have different things happen depending on which button you press right now everything is the same and any remote and any button will set off the light but you can set it to do specific things depending on what button you push that's it for series five in series six we're going to tackle some projects that are a little bit more challenging beginning with a led matrix in lesson number one thanks for watching